Hello. In this video, I'm going to finish the sign in and sign up page. They are working, but we don't provide feedback. Then if you try to create a user that's right there, we don't have any feedback. That's the main goal in this video. Let's do it. Okay, so we probably have a sign up page. And if you have, have an error, we are not doing anything that's useful. Then if I click here and I already have this user, uh, yeah, I have an error. Uh, okay, user already exists. We can try to get maybe this error in this case and say, okay, you already exist. Let's see. Uh, error dot reason. I think it's yeah. Let's see if error dot reason user already exists. There's a dot here. I think we are at create a show alert. Because I, I know that in the vote action, we show an alert. But let me remember how we did it. Uh, yeah, open alert. Then let's use it here. Open alert. And what I should provide to open alert, message, a route, and an action. Yeah, in this case, I can also provide go to sign in because we already have a an user. That's the nice part about trying to handle a specific error. Please sign in as you already have a user. Then I'm not going to consider this an error. Then I don't need to console the error. Yeah, please sign in. You already have a an user. Sign in. Okay, at least we have a feedback. What else can go wrong here? Like no password. Yeah, password may not be empty. We could prevent the submission in this case. Maybe this would be better, right? Like if there is no password, we can open the alert and say please choose a password we can also do the same for the email and the email we can also try to check at least if there is an edge in the email no email or email dot or or no email dot or email includes the email does not include. I know we have like email validator everywhere, but I'm not really concerned here about invalid emails in general. That could be an issue later. Okay, like I I, I really don't don't care. I think even in Meteor we have email dot rejects that it could apply here. I'm not sure if it's in Meteor like Meteor email rejects. I think we have a email dot or in simple schema, but I don't. Are you using simple schema in this project? Simple schema, simple schema. Yeah, we are. I think simple schema they have an email validator. If they have, maybe we should use it. Yeah. Simple schema, blah blah blah. Yeah, simple schema rejects text. Yeah, but I, I don't know if I want to include simple scheme in my client code. I don't remember how heavy it is. Like you can always check how heavy in bundle phobia. Phobia. Bundle phobia, you can simple schema. Nah, too much. I don't care. 
I know I could use the rejects. Maybe I should use these rejects here directly. Yeah. I'm not going to maybe here. Yeah, let's use this one. Is yeah, not sure if it's good enough, but it should be. Let's just convert. Let's convert here as well and rename it. Yeah, is email valid. We can also include this if that is email and email dot and it passed the test. Then if the email is not valid, then we are going to reject. Please inform a valid email. Let's see, let's see. Create my user. Please choose a password. Remove the email. Please choose a password. Email should be first, right? because it's first in the form. Please inform a valid email. We could have like inline validations, but we, I'm creating this package for other projects that's called Quav Forms. Then you, later we can replace with this package. I don't want to handle a lot of case here because of that. Then as we are going to have a package, then later we are going to replace for the package. Okay, uh, sign up. What else can go wrong here? This can go wrong. I think that's it for the farm. And in other case, if I have an error that I have no idea what's going on, I will just have some, let's see, maybe I can even implement here like some generic alert, open alert, blah, blah, blah. Where, yeah, the, I think this is the one. Okay, use the alert. Open alert is open, message. Yeah, I can also show, const show unexpected error. Then I can have like my function already ready for me like i can call just open alert the same way but then i can have my message oops unexpected error please contact i put my email here yeah okay oops unexpected error please contact philip mm -hmm. At. then I can return it. And that's very nice about hooks because now where I'm using the hook, my hook is also producing this function. I don't remember exactly how I did this, but I think that's what's going to happen because I'm spreading then the, the context is here. Yeah, I think that's going to work. Let's see. Let's go back to here and I'm going to get this show unexpected error and I'm going to just call it show unexpected error. Oh, I can even provide the error, then I can just log it there because I know it's an error. Yeah, that was smart, right? then I don't need to worry about logging this error all the time. Oh, no, uh, here I want to have this. And here I'm like this. I can, what error can I produce that is unexpected? I'm not sure. Okay, I can just change this should be other thing, then it's going to be unexpected. Oops, unexpected error. Please contact it. Please contact Philippe. Please contact us. Yeah, occur. I don't know if I know how to write occur. 
When I don't know, I just put here, occur, occur. Almost there. Yeah. Unexpect. Un uh, unexpected. Yeah. Unever occur. Please contact Baba. Yeah. Just to be short. Yep. Okay, 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 okay. I can also put my company email, then it's short as well. And that's it. We have the console log error here. Show unexpected error. Later we have COVID logs that you can integrate these logs to go to your server or to go to Logly. Sorry, I hit the microphone. I don't know if that made some noise. Yeah, but let's return here and go to signing. What can go wrong in the signing process? Oh, maybe I should isolate this because this can also happen in the signing process. Yeah, this part here. Hmm, I could have a use accounts or something like this. Use accounts because then I can have this these functions here uh, export const use accounts then I can have a custom hook with this and of course this is going to live there and I can receive the email and the password here got the idea then I can also use this here I think I can use a context in a hook like this. I hope so. Oh, I can also return this. Return, I'm going to return this. And I'm also going to return a new function. Tempt. And this is going to have, oh, I don't want to get this from here. I'm going to get this here. Okay, valid attempt, false. It's not a valid attempt, false. It's a valid attempt, true. Then I can return this here. I'm calling accounts because Meteor called these accounts. Then I can have const valid attempt and show unexpected error. Use accounts. Is this a valid attempt? If it's not a valid attempt, I'm going to return. If it's a valid attempt, I'm going to have the email and the password here. Okay, let's see if this two work. Oh, I also need to return this. Open alert. Okay. Create my user. You already have a user signing. I think it's working. I can clean up my password. Yep, it's working. And then I don't need to do, I can simplify my code a lot here. Otherwise I would like, I would need to copy paste almost everything. And even this part here, I can also use the same idea. Okay. Yeah, let's see what type of error we are going to get back. Signing, oh, work it. When I don't know my password, incorrect password. Okay. Please check your credentials. Please check our credentials. User not found.
Uh, let me keep this. Then you can have the opposite. User not found, please create an account. Please create an account. Then sign up. Sign up. And this I don't want to try it. Let's see. Yeah, please create an account. Sign up. Create user. You already have a user. Sign in. Empty password. Please choose a password. It's not. Please choose. Now I need to choose. Please inform. Okay. What else can happen here? User not found. Wrong credentials. Yeah, I think that's it. Okay, then we also have this, this bad links. How can we style it better? I have no idea. Do we have something for links? Link. I don't think you're going to have something to look like a good link. Hmm. <laughs> what you should do for links? Signing styles. Link. Okay, maybe you should have a font weight. Like zero. To be like a bold, let's see, class name, class slick. What? Why my style is not here? Get styles link font weight. Oh, I'm not in the sign up page. Okay. Okay, my style is here, but it's not enough. Oh, it's getting overridden. Okay. Maybe white if I just change the color. Color. Do I have a color list already? No. Usually I have a, like some colors. Yeah, almost there. But why my font weight is not working? Font weight coming from the body. Hmm. Uh, let's. Yeah, but it's not working at all. I think this unit is wrong, actually. I think that's the problem. Yeah, the unit was wrong. Too much. Let me apply the same class name to my signing page. Yeah, it looks not perfect, but it's good for me. Okay, now I have the signing style, but why it's not in the center? I believe the idea was to have this in the center, right? Why the signing is not in the center? Align items. This guy is a flex, it's column, then I could have self-align. Align self, maybe. Align self. Yeah. Center. Yep, 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 yep. And maybe I should have also a margin in the top. Or oh, I have a margin here. Why it's not taking the effect that I would expect? Oh, it's there. Six spacing. Oh, it's got this two spacing.
Oh, it's because I'm reducing here. Now I can, maybe I can have six here and I should have two here. Oops. Six here and then here. Oh, why it's not respecting any margin? What's going on? Maybe it's this widget on a hundred percent, eighty percent. Yep. 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 I think I need to put some text in the top right, like a typography. Uh -huh. Sign up page, create your account. Page. Maybe I like this baseline. No, it's not baseline, it's outline. Outline? No, 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 no. I should save in the bookmark the typography because I always need to return it here. Overline, overline. Overline. Yeah, create your account. And the same here, it's going to be log in. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, very simple, very simple, very simple. Yeah, I have a user, sign in. Yeah, after the sign in and after the sign up, maybe I should also have a message. Let's see, sign up, if everything goes right, we should have the alert as well should say welcome, welcome, upvote your favorite topics. Let's see, we create a new user. Welcome, upvote your favorite topics. And if I'm coming back, Welcome back. Update your upvotes. Okay, let me sign up. Signing. Signing. Welcome back. Update your votes. Yep. I think that's it, that's it. That's good, that's good. Maybe in the next video, I should create a profile page because right now, if you just click here by mistake, we log you out. Maybe the log out, we can already do some open. What is the... Let me get this, use the alert here. Then you can wrap up, use the alert. Open alert. Okay, when the user click the logout button, push, open alert, message. Hmm. Please come back soon. 
sign up, sign in, sign in. Welcome back, update your vote. Welcome back. No, it's not working. Maybe I didn't save it. Let me try again. Welcome back. Nope. What am I doing? Use the alert. It's correct, but maybe the... Oh, it's here. The alert's here. Mm, I'm not sure why it's not working. Maybe the callback's not running. Let me test. <clears throat> oh, Topics is producing an error because it's missing a key. Where is it? Usually it's a map. Yeah, key, 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 key. Okay, let me try again to see why I don't see it. Open alert. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'm refreshing other things. I'm not going to waste my time now, but I don't know why it's not working. The open alert, it should. But uh, as it's not an important feature now, I'm just going to wrap up here. Uh, creating use the accounts hook and validating sign up and sign in form usually i'm committing after the video but let's commit together because in many cases i forget some imports and then we can fix the issues together at least sometimes not in every video like i'm not using context anymore the id has something that it's called organizing ports but usually it's good to review your code before you you submit it. I like to do this sometimes. Oh, React is, def is declared, but it's never used. It. Okay. Uh, React if I will never message declare in the upper scope. Message. Oh, but that's an OD error. I think it was before I. Organize here. Message para route route para action label. I don't remember now why I have this. Whatever. Action label para okay react, but it's never used. It. I think we don't need to have react here. Indeed, it's working. I think I fixed all the problems. Oh, I didn't explain like this error upper scope. I just had the same name in different place, and then I just rename it here. But in the end, they're going to be the same value but that was my change. Okay, now everything's okay. It's passing and it's push it. Uh, just for you to remember, if you try to deploy here, it's very simple to deploy, just this. See you in the next video, bye.